How's it going guys? This is Wynn and welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Blades video. Today we have a very small update in front of us as you can see. This is really exciting because there were a few changes, although significant, announced on Twitter just a few minutes ago to the game including some updates to Silver Chests and to the Abyss and a few other small enhancements to the game that are going to make it a little bit better. And this was all from feedback that you guys gave during early access so it does prove that even though they're quiet, they are listening to what we say. So let's do this update. It's only 3 megabytes so it's going to go very quickly. And the first update uh, that I want to talk about is going to be for the silver chests. So we can go over the patch notes here real quick, actually. Let's go over and check out what they tweeted. So Bethesda support said, there's an update to Blades Live Now. See your post here. And the Bethesda Game Studios retweeted. It said, thank you for helping us make changes to Blades during early access. Silver chests now only take one hour. Better reward balances and more. So let's check out the full patch details. Now, the biggest thing, obviously, that everybody's going to notice is that timer change for the silver chests. So, silver chests, these now take only one hour to open, or 12 gems. Previously, there were three hours and 36 gems before. So, basically, one gem for five minutes of waiting. That's about what it's going to take. I'm glad they scaled that down, too, right? It'd be crazy if they kept that at 36 gems for still only an hour. Now, wooden chests and elder chests have been added to job rewards. Elder chests are extremely rare, but possible. So, it's really nice now that you will get elder chests as a job reward every now and then. Uh, especially for those jobs where it's like a mysterious chest and you don't know what it's going to be. Uh, there is like a kind of chest rotation there too, so you can kind of like predict what your next chest might be. But I, I think it's still kind of randomized. But I know some players did notice a certain type of pattern in the chest that you got from jobs. Next up, silver chests no longer appear in the abyss, which is good. I guess that's kind of to counteract the fact that they now take a shorter amount of time to unlock. They're now also going to give them to you less. But honestly, those, that's kind of a win-win for me because the problem before was they took so long to unlock and they gave you so many of them. So you're like, I, I like literally can't do anything. I have 48 silver chests. So now like only an hour, you're going to get them less frequently, but you can still stack up a lot of chests. The next thing that I think is really interesting that I want to take a look at later in the video, it says adjusted abyss floors below your level to reward more experience points. So I went back and looked at some old footage and we can compare again, but I have old footage of me going through the abyss so we can see the old numbers and then we'll be able to maybe run through the abyss real quick and see what those new numbers are for the experience changes. Now, before I know, like I'm level 10, I've reached floor 10. If I go back and do floor one, it's like two experience. If I do the next floor, it's only four experience. So it's like pretty low. Obviously, like I have to do a full run through the abyss in order to like get the experience that's actually going to matter. But now cumulatively, it's going to add up a lot more. And I'm excited to see what those new numbers are. And then something small. Um, I wish they would do this for everything, but they said they added a confirmation for any gem use above 11. So you don't accidentally use higher amounts. Now, basically, 11 is like if you're opening a silver chest at 12, any time below that will take 11 gems. So I'm glad they added that because there are a few times I've tapped and just was like, oops, well, there went like 25 gems, you know. So I'm glad that now there's some kind of safety net for if you accidentally, you know, tap that again. So thanks again and keep sending us your feedback. We can't believe how many of you are playing and playing a lot. We'll have more changes or during early access as we tune and balance the game. Stay tuned. So let's hop back into Blades. That obviously sounds really exciting. Um, I'm guessing these are live. That's what that update was for. But let's just check. Let's double check to see if our chests indeed only take an hour now. Yes, they do. So I do have 13 of them by far. That's what's taking up the most space here. Uh, but yeah, one hour. That's not bad. And plus, you're going to get the same amount of rewards from them too. So if you guys want to log in every hour of the day, you can. Now, personally, that's the one thing that does bother me. I prefer chests more like gold chests, right? Six hours, I can start unlocking it, go to bed, wake up in the morning, and now I've got my rewards. The silver chest, I guess, like it's something you can do more throughout the day. But I just don't like the idea that like, let's say I only have silver chests and it's only going to take an hour. I feel like unlocking it and then going to bed is kind of a waste because like an hour in, you're still sleeping and it unlocked. So then like the rest of the night, you're not really progressing on anything. I like those bigger chests to be at night and the silver chest, I guess they can be throughout the day, but who wants to log in every single hour? Uh, I don't know. You know, that's going to have to be something that it's personal preference, I guess, but hey, it's, it's a better uh, update all around. I know some people are still frustrated a little bit by it, but you know, it is, it is a step in the right direction. So, all right. So I was just about to hop into the abyss and I actually did for a while there. I have to throw out basically all the footage because it looks like the abyss experience upgrades are not in the game just yet. I don't know if they're going to be rolling out small patches throughout the day, but you can see here, I did get prompted with an actual in-app update that goes over the exact same things. 
uh, basically saying, you know, the adjusted abyss floors below your level to reward more experience points. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Unfortunately, I was going through the abyss. I was checking out some footage I had from last night when it, when it was basically the old abyss, but I was still getting the same experience. So I don't think that's in the game just yet, maybe later today or something, but I'm really excited overall for that to come. That's probably the one thing that I am the happiest about. The chest didn't really bother me as much. I don't care. I'd rather like grind through and get the EXP faster. So uh, I'll have to update you guys later on if that does uh, come out and what that new experience progression will look like versus the old. But unfortunately, I don't think it's in the game just yet. So I'm going to have to end the video there. I do appreciate you guys sticking around and hanging out for this little bit of a bonus video. I was getting ready for work this morning, saw the update and was like, oh man, got to cover that right now. And it looks promising. So hopefully they'll do more like this in the future. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. And I will see you next time.